All right, welcome back to the episode of Beer, Bacon, and Bros. Tonight, you got Chris and Keith. We're going to be bringing you the top available free agents as we get ready for spring training. Uh, I actually said something wrong this, a couple of minutes ago. Spring training starts Saturday. Yeah, well, the it's pitchers, and catcher, pitchers and catchers uh, reported last last week. Yeah, yeah. So they're they yeah they're 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 ramping up, getting ready to I go. I can't believe it starts Saturday, February twenty fifth. So uh, these are the top available free agents. We're gonna break it down a little bit for you. They're, they're not, still available. Yeah. yeah, still available. This is not every position. I don't see like a, a really good second baseman on here, but we got some we got some names yeah, on here. Yeah, Moose out there, man. Yeah, well, he's a third. He's listed as a third baseman, but uh, we got some names on here. So uh, I guess the top name is Trevor Bauer. And, yeah, and, and you know, for good reason. Thirty-two years old, guy's been a stud for a couple times. Obviously, it's just about who wants his to off the field baggage. Yeah, yeah. Well, his off the field baggage, and then his 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 mentality in the clubhouse. Yeah, but I mean, as you look over this list, you know, a couple 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 pitcher names that really you know strike the strike the iron here. Trevor Bauer, David Price has been. You know, such a good pitcher for a long time that he was. Uh, a lot of playoff experience. Actually, two, two people that I sent here that I'm surprised are still free agents are Will or not Will Smith, uh, Zach Britton. Yeah. And Corey Neville. Yeah. Corey Neville had a great year in Philly last year. He's a great kind of, you know, close it down type of guy. He really yeah. get you out of jam. Zach Britton's done really well in New York the last couple of years. Yeah, I mean, and then. Will and, Smith, and Mike Miner, too. Yeah, Mike Miner, Will Smith. A lot of lefties. Like, a lot of people love left. Brad Hands on here. So and Brad has been he's been big for a long time. Yeah, so it's just a little surprising some of these lefties yeah. the vets older. I mean, obviously all these guys are older, right? I mean, Nobody's. Will, yeah. Will Smith's old. He's getting he's getting older. He's not the Will Smith of you know 2014 when he was with Milwaukee. You know when he when he was throwing gas and you know, being able to throw that curveball that that curveball that really throw people off. Yeah. Or the slider that he threw. I'm sorry. Yeah, slider. But yeah, I mean you know he's not he's not out there you know humming 96, 97 anymore. Yeah. Um, and it's probably the reason why you know Zach Britton's out there because he's a little bit older. Mike Miner clearly is you know he's he's aged a lot. You know he he can't go out there and hum it up there anymore. But he still has some being a lefty. He's got you know, some really crafty, you know, nice stuff that that can you know complement some you know some other pieces. Um, another name out there, Gary Sanchez is a is a pretty big pretty pretty big name to be out there as a as a free agent. You know, of course, the guy can't hit. I mean, it's either a dinger or a, or a striking out. But yeah, and I think that at thirty, his knees are just not good enough to make him an, may, well, I mean, an everyday catcher. And you can play him or even Cole Calhoun at a at a DH position. Cole Calhoun surprised me. I mean, I know he's thirty five, but Cole Calhoun can hit bombs. I mean, this dude, this dude could walk out here this season no matter who he signs for, gets enough games. He's hitting 25, 30 home runs. Yeah. So, you know, that he really, honestly, of all the outfielders, he actually surprised me the most. Jason Hayward being a free agent doesn't surprise me. Jason Hayward sucks. Yeah. He had basically like he's two, not, he, two he's not what he, in Atlanta. Yeah, he's, he's not what he was in Atlanta when he was a rookie anymore. And and I, Jerickson Profar feels like such a utility guy. I am surprised that he isn't signed. Someone hasn't picked him up somewhere. And, and it may be uh, he would like to go back to the San Diego thing and they just haven't worked it out. But somebody, somewhere, like the Texas Rangers could really use a Jerkson Pro Far. Like they could use a utility guy like that to kind of bolster. Yeah. Especially if they're trying to go after this whole, we're going to buy pitching and see if we can become a good hitting team yeah. thing. Which, by the way, Jacob DeGrom is hurt again. So uh, yeah. Shocker. Don't, don't, don't waste that first inning on pick on Jacob Shocker. So. Let him fall. But Gary Sanchez, a guy, a guy that would hit 20 bombs right now as a catcher, probably at 180, but, you know, he'd hit 20 yeah, bombs. Yeah, I, I, I give him 200, 210. Yeah. I give, I give him that 200, That's 210. still not good. <laughs> no, but it's better than 180. <laughs> that's I mean, still not good. Um, um, another guy that I'm kind of surprised about is Jose Iglesias. I mean, he's, a, he's, had a, he's had a pretty solid career, too. Yeah, good defensive shortstop. But when you're getting 33, I mean, you're talking about a guy that's kind of, kind of moving on here. So... I think the one name we haven't hit on yet, Yuri Gurriel. I, I can't believe he's thirty nine years old. Yeah, Yuri Gurriel is really old. I can't believe he's that that's old. why. And that's why they went out and, and traded and got Jose well, Abreu. It's a full upgrade for Houston. I can't blame Houston, but still, somebody needs. What's well, a four? It's a former MVP. It's a guy who's gonna who's gonna hit three hundred. He's gonna hit twenty to thirty bombs. He's gonna drive in ninety to one hundred twenty RBIs. I mean, he's got. He, it's definitely a huge upgrade. Um, Dylan Bundy's a decent pitcher that's out there. I mean, he he doesn't have like the big name stuff, but he's one of those big kind of got big big name kind of guys. Just like an Archie Bradley. I mean, you know, Archie Bradley a couple years ago was a really good reliever. Yeah, he was a really good closer. I mean, he was he was dominating in uh, wasn't Arizona. Where else? Or wasn't Arizona where he was getting like 20, 35, yeah. 25, 35 saves a yeah. year? 
Um, Trevor Rosenthal, I've always been a big fan of his. High, a guy that throws four different fastballs extremely hard. Now, he doesn't do it as he used to anymore, but a guy that I'm a little surprised he's not in somebody's pen somewhere. Anibal Sanchez is a, is a really scrappy pitcher. God, but, he's 39 too? Yeah. Wow. Juris Familia, I mean, you know, he was he was a closer for New York or Philly not too long ago. Yeah. So. Steve, Steve C- Shizek. C- 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 I mean, he's another closer that's that, been out there. That shot. little, that little, yeah, little knee, side arm under yeah. the Kurt Suzuki. I think he's retiring, honestly. Yeah, he's 30. He's almost um, 40. Sean Doolittle. Sean Doolittle is another name that's big out there. Uh, you know, I honestly a little bit surprising. Chris Archer. Chris Archer's still only 34. He's fallen off, though. Dude. He has. He's, he's, not, he's not what he was when he was in Pittsburgh. He has. He has fallen off. Um, Stephen Voigt's retiring. Marwin, uh, Marwin, Marwin Gonzalez. Gonzalez. Yeah, he was, he was yeah. one of them. Matt Harvey, the old Batman. Yeah, Matt Harvey. Marlon Mar- 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 Gonzalez is that he was that typical, our prototypical utility guy back in the day when he was yeah. playing for for Houston. Yeah, I mean he would go into any position and play it very well. Yeah, first, third, outfield. Yeah, he's just kind of got he's he's just kind of gotten up to him. Uh, I really thought Guillermo Heredia was signed with the team. You know, he 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 did he did so well for Atlanta the last couple of years, coming in and playing mop up duty and. I thought he sucked, but yeah. yeah I mean, I he, was, he, was, he, was a bad, he was a bad defensively. Yeah, I'm a little surprised. Ah, your mom Mercedes is still free agent. Wow. I mean, yeah. you remember when we had him a couple years ago? Yeah, the dude was batting 340 for and, a little and, bit. And then he, re- then he retired and then yeah. he came back. Yeah, yeah dude was batting 340 for a little bit. Tower Thornburg was another name that's hey. big out there. Hey, the boxer. Rudin Odor. The boxer, baby. He's only 29. That's hard to believe. The dude can't hit more than 175. Yeah. He sucks. Yeah. Uh, Jackie Bradley Jr. JBJ is down there. Yeah. Now, now you're at Manny Benuelos. He, 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 was a former, he was a former Brave. Um, Phil Goslin. Phil Goslin, yeah. The Braves brought him back last year. Yeah, 34. Jimmy Nelson was one of those guys that was huge in Milwaukee a couple years ago. Yeah. And then he just kind of fell off. We're getting into some names that aren't really big names. You're, yeah. I'm just seeing if there's any. Oh, JT Riddle. Oh, the former Gamecock. No, the... no, you're thinking of uh, LT Tolbert. No, oh, I thought JT so, Riddle played for them too. Uh, JT Riddle played for Philly for a little bit. He played for the Mets last year. Kind of a, a, a shortstop, second base, kind of field role guy. Uh, yeah. Oh. Uh, Vizcaino? That's the starting pitcher. That's not the guy. Yeah, Our boy so, is Now the other Vizcaino is up here. Actually, I just saw him. He's a free agent as well. So the former Brave. Yeah. Our boy is Vizcaino. Yeah. So, yeah. So I, some decent names out there. I mean, obviously for me, if I'm picking anybody, I'm going to want Trevor Bauer. Uh, you yeah. Know, I, mean, I know he comes. I would have to. Age. If if I was taking Trevor Bauer, like if I was the Braves and I was taking Trevor Bauer, you know, I would I would write it into the contract saying, you know, you bring shit in here, you're we're just going to let you go. Yeah. You know, you want you want your money. You're gonna you're gonna play by our rules. You don't play by by our rules. You're gonna be gone. Um, I mean, because I think any rotation in the major in Major League Baseball right now would love to have Trevor Bauer on their team. Yeah. Any rotation would. I mean, the yeah. kid, the guy. I mean, the guy. The guy's just a solid pitcher. I mean, he he throws hard. He throws he throws strikeouts. Uh, the guy. I mean, he's he's proven it over the last couple of years. I mean, because I was not too long ago when he was in Cleveland. Everybody was trying to put a package together for him or Shane Bieber. Yeah, and they didn't want to move on him, and they finally they finally moved on. Cleveland played and wise up and moved on from him, gave him gave him Cincinnati. And Cincinnati, I mean, the year he had in Cincinnati, oh, so the year he, he, he had a sub three ERA, he had a sub two ERA. Yeah, I mean, it was one eight seven. Yeah, I mean, it was and struck out like. 260, 270 batters. It was a tro. I mean, he had a fan. Well, hell, that game against Atlanta in the playoffs, he went nine innings and struck out what nine or ten. Yeah, yeah. Thank God we had Max Reed on the other side pitching against him. Yeah, but so I mean, outside of outside of Trevor Bauer, g- give me your favorite position player and then pitcher on this on this team. If you're going to pick somebody up here, I mean, position player would have probably have to be out of those top people would be Jerks and Profar. Yeah. Or Cole Calhoun if you're going to play him in a DH. You know, those would be the two play the two places that I would look at for hitting. Um, Gilly's just too old. Miguel Sano Sano is just too old. I mean, how old is Miguel? Sano? Hey, he's only twenty nine. He's about to be thirty. Well, he he plays like he's thirty seven. Yeah, he he runs like he's thirty seven. So, but um, dude's talk, got a lot of pop in that bat though. Talk talk about a bomb or single kind of guy. Barry Bonds. <laughs> <laughs> so, but, uh, pitcher. I mean, obviously, you know, we're going to want Trevor Bauer. 
I, I mean, I know David Price has been been up there, and you know, he had some really good seasons, but I think I think time just caught up with him at this point. Yeah. I mean, he's not going to be a starter anymore. I mean, he might be a bridge type of guy where you can come in and maybe get two or three innings out of him in a game. Yeah. But I mean, I think you're you're stretching it if you once you get past like twelve pitches. I think that's about all he's got in him. He's about twelve. Yeah. If he can't get if he, if he can't get three outs, then he's you're just going to pull him. Yeah. Um. So I mean, like a pitcher that I would like to look at would be a Corey Neville or a Zach Britton. Yeah. Funny, so, funny enough, I think I'm with you on both these. I think Zach Britton would be the pitcher for me. I think I know he's older. He's the oldest of these at 35, um, outside of David Price, but um, almost 36 years old. But I, I like the lefty. I like the guy in the pen. Get him out of New York, and I think it'd be interesting, right? It's small ball. Right. See, so well, that, not only that, but he, he, well, the problem with again, I mean, we say no. Basically, any baseball video we do in New York. You put a ball up in right field and it's just gone. Yeah. Like, there's nothing that's going to bring it back or, or knock it down. Yeah. Um, so I mean, I but I definitely would like a Zach Britton. I would like uh, Corey Neville. I think Corey Neville's still got a lot of stuff left in him. I mean, he's not he's not a bad he's not a bad pitcher to have. I mean, and only being at 31, I mean, you can still get a couple of years out of him. Yeah. I think that for the position player for me, it kind of would depend on what I'm looking for. If I'm looking for just specifically a DH, I'd probably take Moose. I, I like Moose's. He's probably going to be a 250 hitter. The guy could bring me 20, 25 homers. He's really good in, in situational hitting as well for RBIs. So a guy, I mean, as a DH, he could deliver 65, 85 RBIs somewhere there if he's playing a full season as a DH, which I think he should and could do in, in this part of his career. Um, and then if I'm looking for anything else, I'd probably take Jerson Profar with you. I mean, the guy can play yeah. second, he can play third, he can play outfield, shortstop, outfield, shortstop in the corner, so corner outfield. So I, I think for me, it would it would be Jerson Profar if I was going to take kind of just a positional player, somebody to give you some depth, right, uh, and be able to play right. in certain days. But yeah, I, I don't I don't look at any of these and say our favorite Atlanta Braves are going to be picking up any of these guys. I don't know about you. No, I mean I think Atlanta's pretty happy. If there if there was a decent outfielder out there outside of Profar, they would I think they would consider it. But I really think they're gonna I think they're gonna like having Pilar on a minor league deal. You call him up and you only have to pay him like a million dollars. Yeah. And, I, mean, I, I I honestly think Pilar is gonna go in there and, and really compete for that left field position. I hope so. I tell you, I really, really hope so because the left field is certainly a, a weak, probably the weakest part of our entire lineup. Obviously, you know, with Grisham playing shortstop. Well, you I mean, Grisham, there, Grisham's right? been playing. I mean, he's been he's been hitting it hard with. Like, he he reported last week to the to, to training camp or spring training, whatever you want to call it. Uh, he reported last week, and he's he's been he's been hitting it hard with with uh, Ron Washington. Yeah. So I mean, he's you know he's definitely doing what he can to get out there and learn the position. Um, I mean, he's a second baseman by trade anyway. So, I mean, moving from second to short, I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. Um, the good thing about him being where he's at is his height. And, you know, you knowing Atlanta, Atlanta loves a big shortstop. Shortstop. 6'3", 210. They love, I mean, you know, when... When, when when we had Simmons, I mean, we love Andrew Simmons being a shortstop. Oh, great defensive shortstop. Great defensive shortstop. I mean, he couldn't hit with the shit, but he was a great defensive shortstop. And, and I think you're going to get that with Vaughn, and I think with Vaughn, you're also going to have the hitting to go along with it. Yeah. I think I think Vaughn I think Vaughn's going to come into his own. I mean, I don't necessarily agree with what we did in the in you know in in, in the pre, in the uh, in the I mean, off season with the shortstop. I mean, I think. We could have tried to make a deal for somebody, but knowing that they had Vaughn Grisham, I think they were just I think they, they were happy. satisfied with it. Yeah, yeah. I mean, and, which is fine because they put the money into other places, which was, was the things that we needed. Um, I'm not, I'm not, I'm still not, you know, sold on the on the Sean Murphy trade, but I mean, See, he's starting catcher. So. No, I, I know he is, I know he is, but you had you had William Gutierrez, yeah, who was younger than him, had a better batting average, is probably it probably could hit more bombs than he did. Yeah, so. But I mean, we'll see what happens. I mean, you know, that's you know, double. I'm, until Double A does something just completely stupid, we have to we have to trust. Him. We have to trust him. Yeah. I mean, because the dude the dude clearly knows what he's doing. Yeah. So. All right. Well, hit us in the comments. Let us know if you want your favorite team to pick up one of these free agents, or if I'm leaving somebody out along this list that you'd like to mention. So as always, we appreciate you. Like, comment, subscribe.